Well, the last two videos that I uh, put out there, I teased a little bit about the uh, new machinery purchase that I uh, have here on the farm. And unfortunately, I don't have it home yet. Well, I should say I don't have all of it home yet. I've got to, I got a piece of it. So uh, I bought myself a combine and I've got the, uh, the grain head and the, uh, and the straw spreader. There, I've got them home so far. I bought a uh, John Deere 3300 combine. I've got the, uh, it's got a uh, two row wide corn head on it. And uh, I also have got this 13 foot grain head to go with it. Uh, I bought this combine pretty darn reasonable uh, for a couple of reasons. It's a smaller combine and uh, there's not a lot of demand for that anymore. And uh, also because it's been sitting parked in a shed for the last 15 years. So uh, so I made the deal. Uh, I bought it. It's about uh, around 80 miles away from, uh, from my farm. It's out in Iowa. And uh, well, plan A was to uh, get it running. It's a, it's a four-cylinder gas engine. It's a gas combine. Another reason that I bought it pretty darn reasonable and uh, like I said plan A was to get it running drive it home but uh, well I I did get part of that accomplished I went over there for a day and worked on it I uh, cleaned up the fuel system which was a really horrible mess after sitting around for a while uh, changed the oil in the engine uh, did a bunch of other things and uh, I did get it started and it actually ran pretty good uh, didn't smoke a lot, uh, didn't have a lot of blow-by, but uh, after, after starting it two or three times, the starter on it never did sound really vigorous. And, uh, well, I went over there a couple days later to drive it home, and it did not start. I think the starter is just uh, is failing on it. It's drawing too much power. Even with a, with a new battery, it doesn't turn over all that fast, and putting a... Uh, Putting a booster on it didn't make that much difference either. So, uh, well, I working on something that's like an hour and a half drive away is a big pain in the butt. So I did have a plan B for bringing this home. And uh, so uh, because it's a pain in the butt, it'll be much easier to have it over here to work on. I decided to go with uh, plan B. And this is plan B. I whipped this up today. This is a super heavy duty tow bar that, uh, that I fabricated. Uh, I'm going to clamp this part of it over the back axle of the combine, uh, pull, the, uh, pull the couplers off the drive axles. Uh, I think they should come loose. Even if they don't, uh, I think it'll be okay if I just, it's not a hydro, so I think if I just put it in, uh, put it in neutral and go slow, it'll be fine. But, uh, I, fortunately, I've got. I had to buy the two uh, long pieces of metal. I've got a, some around here that I could have used, but it was uh, buried and, and still frozen in. So, uh, some of the half-inch steel for that. I have quite a bit of that on hand. So I fabricated my uh, clamps there, and uh, got this end all hooked up. It's uh, <laughs> it's really heavy. Frankly, I think it's way over engineered but uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, that it will get the job done and uh, I'm I'm pretty confident that my f-250 here with the v10 in it would uh, would pull it pull the combine home but I've got a couple of uh, really steep hills to deal with that I'm a little bit concerned about uh, about the combine pushing the uh, pushing the f-250 around so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my uh, F600 grain truck. I don't think this is, no, this has not been in a video before. I so saw this is its, uh, this is my grain truck's video debut. It is a uh, 1968 F600. I bought this uh, about a year ago out in Iowa. It's a really clean truck. Uh, it's got 80,000 miles on it. Uh, there's only one little rust hole on it. Everything else, it's uh, every in every other way, it's really, really solid. The uh, bottom of the cab is pristine. The floorboards in the cab are good. It's got uh, 
the uh, 330 cubic inch engine, four-speed transmission, transmission two-speed rear end, works really well. It uh, it handles uh, it hauls 250 bushel pretty comfortably. Uh, the place that I sell my corn is about uh, about a 35 mile about 35 miles away, so it's about a 70 mile round trip. Uh, so this thing works pretty good and. Uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, that I can tow the combine home with this and uh, not get pushed around too badly. So, uh, so that's my plan. I'm going to uh, take this out uh, oh to where the combine is, which is about 80 miles away in Iowa. Clamp my heavy-duty tow bar to the axle, hook it on behind the F600, and bring it home where I can uh, work on it. Where I have all my tools and everything else I need, and uh, work on it without it being a uh, a big pain in the ass, being so far away. So, so that's the plan. That's what I'm going to take off and do in the morning. <laughs> 